It felt like a Hollywood movie premiere. Inside a Centennial Airport hangar in Colorado, members of the aviation industry and flying enthusiasts prepared to toast a plane that could revolutionize the way we cross the globe in the future. Oh, super exciting. This is our first step. It's really going to change the way people travel across the world. Joe Wilding is the chief engineer of Boom Technology, a company that spent the past two years working on this. Boom could become the fastest civilian commercial plane ever made. That aircraft will fly Mach 2.2, or 2.2 times the speed of sound, 1,450 miles per hour. That's 2,300 kilometers per hour. Boom's supersonic demonstrator plane, this is a mock-up, will be one-third the size of the actual plane and should begin test flying about a year from now. We'll learn what we have to learn from that, and then we'll apply those lessons to the full-scale production aircraft. 27 years, the Concorde jet flew passengers across the Atlantic Ocean, but high fuel costs and ticket prices helped lead to its demise in 2003. We work in virtual Boom's team believes improved aerodynamics, propulsion, and materials will bring better fuel economy and make this plane economically viable. It's about can you make the operating cost of the airplane uh, at a level where people can afford to fly on it and you can find a large market. Boom will be made of carbon composite materials which can withstand higher temperatures than the Concorde's aluminum. It'll help this plane fly even faster. At Boom. And that speed, priced in line with today's cost of a transcontinental business class flight, about 5,000 U.S. dollars, will attract lots of passengers, says Boom CEO Blake Scholl. There's no person on the planet that wouldn't love to get there in half the time. Virgin Galactic already has options on 10 of these 45-seat aircraft. Its founder, Richard Branson, is on board. If Boom's jets were available today, I would have been able to pop over and celebrate with you in Denver. I think it will be very successful. Veteran Concorde pilot Steve Bohill Smith also believes Boom's time has come. It looks right. And what they say is if an airplane looks right, it's going to fly right. Years of testing and certification still lie ahead. Just like anything in the world, airplanes, the devil's in the details. Every piece has to work, and people's lives are counting on it. The supersonic journey has resumed. Boom hopes to carry its first passengers early in the 2020s. Once we get into service, this is how you're going to fly. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Englewood, Colorado.